Good morning, everybody. My name is Diana Dominique, and I'm the Director of Customer here at the Canadian Electricity Association. Today on the Future is Now series, we're excited to talk to Diane Robichaud from NB Power. She's the EV Infrastructure Program Manager um, at NB Power, and we'll talk about the province's e-charge network initiative that was launched in 2017. So Diane, it's my understanding that New Brunswick became the first province to fully implement a smart EV fast charging network. So I'm wondering if you can talk to us a little bit more about this really exciting initiative. Good morning, Diane, and thank you for having me. Yes, we, we in 2017 determined from a customer request that there was a need to put a charging infrastructure throughout the, the province of New Brunswick. So we started it initially with uh, charging at the Quebec, New Brunswick border. And then we continued it on the Trans-Canada Highway down to the province of Nova Scotia. But then we determined there was a further need around other areas of the province. So we, we um, continued that um, corridor throughout the northern and the eastern part. And this is all uh, made possible through Enercan funding and the province of New Brunswick. So we were very excited. Um, at that point, we now have uh, chargers throughout the entire province. That's amazing. And so we know that there's a number of barriers um, in terms of preventing customers from purchasing electric vehicles. So do you think that this initiative helps to uh, change some of the customer behaviors around, um, around EVs and, and purchasing of EVs? Definitely. Um, one of the most significant barriers to EV adoption um, which has been addressed and will continue to be addressed by the eCharge network is the availability of the charging infrastructure. Um, through this funding through Enercan and the province of New Brunswick, we were able to put chargers at 63 kilometer intervals along the major highways throughout the province. So this charger availability, availability provided drivers with confidence that they can travel the entire province without the fear of running out of a charge. And you know, from recent customer research, it has shown us that drivers do not feel they have the range anxiety they had a few years ago, mm -hmm. and they're now more comfortable with an EV purchase for their next vehicle. That's amazing. I know that that's uh, one of the anxieties I have and a barrier to uh, purchasing um, an EV. So, so that's really great. And reading the project description as well, um, there's an education component that you've been implementing at NB Power around uh, cost of EVs as well. Can you speak to us a little bit more about that? For sure. Uh, we recently were successful in uh, getting two different funding applications approved through Enercan to offer the education and awareness. And one of the uh, campaigns that we went live with was trying to myth bust that idea of EVs are much more expensive than gasoline vehicles. And we currently have a, a campaign out right now. And it's interesting because if you look at the just the, the vehicle cost, for sure, the, the EV is more expensive than the gasoline vehicle. But if you look at the total life cycle cost, the EV is cheaper than a gasoline vehicle. And we, our goal is to have people understand that through this campaign. And how long has this campaign been running for? We've had two separate campaigns. We had one last year in 2019, and we just finished our second campaign with, uh, in early November. Oh, that's great. That's great. So slowly changing uh, perceptions around uh, EVs in terms of uh, costs and, and uh, other barriers. Definitely. It definitely is doing that. That's great. And uh, also when I read the project description, uh, NB Power has replaced 50% of your light duty passenger fleet vehicles um, with electric vehicles. Why is this an important step for, for NB Power? Well, replacing our light duty passenger fleet with EVs was very important to NB Power because we felt we must lead by example. If we're encouraging our customers to switch to electric, we must do the same. Our customers look at MB Power as a, a trusted advisor, so we need to be able to share our learnings and our experiences with them. So by doing this, it will help our customers make a more informed decision when they switch to electric. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And important to show that NB Power is the leader in uh, EV charging and, and yes. uh, shifting, I think, to a, a cleaner um, uh, economy. Yes, definitely. And um, so what, from your 
perspective, what does the future of EVs look like? And um, what do you feel some of the future opportunities um, that can come from this project? Well, the future of EVs is very exciting for MB Power with the electrification being beneficial to our customers or the EV drivers, um, where they see a, a lower total cost of ownership of their vehicle. It's also a benefit to the utility um, from an increased load, as well as distributed energy resource opportunities. And then of course, um, most importantly, is the environmental benefits, such as the lower greenhouse gas emissions and the improved air quality in our beautiful province. I'm a little bit biased, but. Uh... Yeah, <laughs> of course. <laughs> and then, um, thank you for that, Diane. Um, and so what is the one word that you would have to describe um, electricity? I could use one word to describe electricity. It is possibilities. Very and, good. And the reason I say that is the possibility of customers being able to dream big, innovate, and live the best life possible because the, of the power that we generate and we deliver. And it's also possibility connects to our commitment to more sustainable energy for future generations. And, and then finally, it aligns with our brand strategy, which is the power of possibilities. Wow, that's amazing. Certainly, it seems through these, not only this initiative, but other initiatives in the province, like the Smart Community uh, Energy Initiative that um, you know, you're partnering with Siemens on, that um, NB Power, or sorry, New Brunswick and NB Power are certainly leaders in, uh, in this area, the sustainability, um, clean energy. Um, so possibility, I think, is a very, a very good word. Yes, it's very, very exciting and the future is open for possibilities. That's wonderful. Thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, really appreciate hearing about the project and chatting with you and, and hope you have a great day, Diane. Thank you, Diane. You have a good day too.